Hello everyone, this is Satvik and this video we will be discussing about one of the legendary tool and one of the most used tool for password hash cracking which is named as John the Ripper. So let's discuss about this and you may be all some of you guys may have doubt like okay but you already have hash cat but why do you need John the Ripper? So John the Ripper has like uh, like it, even this is also a password hash cracking or any hash cracking tool but this has some more advanced functionality which we'll be discussing in this video and that's going to be super super cool so let's start so this is the uh, website so it's uh, maintained by open wall and it's been one of the uh, legacy you can say like it's been running for like a while so uh, it's very uh, no, well maintained as well so you can also find their uh, uh, github repository so you don't need it because your kali linux or your parrot may already have installed that so if not like you can just go through this uh, 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 this github page and you can download it okay it's fine it's very simple to use okay so you'll find all the stuff here so just do it so now uh, we'll start with the tutorial so this is going to be a fun tutorial so we have few files and i'll also show you some extended functionality that you can do with john the ripper uh, which is going to be super helpful while solving some ctf challenges or uh, while doing some pen testing kind of stuff so let's start so john so hyphen hyphen help so that's a basic option you will do so you don't need to uh, use all these options like i don't use all these options all the time but yeah if you want to get most out of this john the ripper you can just use it but uh, most of the time i just pass the format i just pass the hash file or hash and then i just pass the word list john the ripper is absolutely faster and it gives me like uh, it's it gives me way quicker result okay i observed that and it's like less bullshit you know like uh, it, it's more on uh, 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 result oriented stuff so one more option that you may find use uh, you may find useful is show so sometimes if your password gets cracked or kind of thing so it'll just uh, if it doesn't show you uh, even though if it is cracked you can use this option hyphen hyphen show and the salting and all these stuff uh, if you want you can explore them but in this video we'll go with the basic stuff so let's start so i have a hash here so if i do cat hash so you can see i have a hash here so so let's assume that you got a hash like you are doing some kind of a pen test and you got a hash uh you need to crack this thing absolutely so that you can go to the next part uh next part in the engagement then cracking is the only possible way as this is a ctf based so most of the time you will be able to crack the hash and also guys hash cracking is very subjective okay so the thing uh, that i'm I'm trying to showcase what i'm trying to showcase here is a ctf based environment which is meant to be cracked but uh, if you take some real-time hashes you may not crack it because uh like if you add like a lot of security if you add like a lot of uh, if your password is law lo very long and it has a lo lot of characters and it may take a lot of time to crack that hash so keep that in mind so this is like for sample so I'm just going to copy this so if you know whenever you find a hash and if you don't know what type of hash it is just use a tool called as hash identifier okay just paste it and you can see what type of hash uh, it's based on so it's mostly md5 and yes it is an md5 hash so that's how you can do it so this is a very easy way uh, to find it out okay so now let's go to john and let's see what type of format so oops you can see what's happening here so if you uh, do john uh, hyphen hyphen format equals to and if you hit tab for two times you can see almost all the uh, hash types that this can crack so you can just hit space and it shows you what type of hashes it can hash uh, it can crack actually sorry and you have a lot more options here uh, we'll be discussing all about that uh, you have like so many options but as this is an md5 base so let's find out something that is md5 okay so it's not md5 krypton sort of stuff uh, it's more of like raw uh, md5 so it's way easier to use john so just do john hyphen hyphen format and just the hash file uh, or else if it's like a string or something like that just give it in uh, double quotes and provide your word list with equal to sign so uh, my rocky.txt is available in this location so i'm just giving that so let me hit enter so it's a very fairly simple as i told you uh, as a disclaimer so this is like more ctf based so it's very easy to crack here but if it is somewhere in the end of rocky.txt then it may take some time 
but uh, make sure you wait till the end okay so till it shows you something kind of thing so that's how you do it and uh, you can always uh, you know like uh, use go opt for different stuff like hyphen hyphen format okay uh, you have like so many options here so depending upon your hash uh, type like it can be sha or whatever it is just choose an format and just go and crack it and also i told you cracking is very subjective so it may work or it may not work so now let's take a scenario where you have a zip file okay and you want to uh, crack the password of that so john has a functionality and there are so many tools called as which ends with the name to john so i'll show you so locate start to john so just do that and you'll find so many uh you know like so many uh to john so to john is like jo this converts with particular so for example take an example of like word file which has which is password protected so you have something like office to john so office to john office to john what it does is it tries to uh, uh find out the hash of that kind of uh, it tries to convert it into a hash format and the john is going to run it against and it's going to crack it so uh, basically like if you have like uh, idrsa file you can do ssh to john and it's going to convert it into a, a john format john hash format and you can just crack it with a simple way so uh, i have an example here so you have so for example uh, i have a file here you can see file upload.zip so i cannot unzip it because uh, it's uh, password protected actually you can see it's a password protected it has a file something like that so how you can do is zip to zone okay and uh, just do file uh, i'll just show you what it shows so if you pass uh, pass it to that it, it gives you uh, a hash in the format of john okay so uh, which john john can easily understand and it can uh, process for the uh, cracking of that so it's actually you can see here it's like pk zip because it's a zip file and the name and all that stuff so what you can do is so generally it's like trying to convert it to a john readable format or john crackable format so whatever works for you it's fine uh john and file upload and i'm just passing it to a hash so now if i do cat hash so it shows me that so john uh, just pass the hash and just pass the word list and you can see uh, it already loaded one password and no nothing left to crack so now guys you can see uh, the password here it's the password of this uh, particular zip file that i cracked is password 123 so this is a cool handy trick to keep in mind because sometimes uh, it may not show like sometimes even though it's for the first time it might crack and it may show like it's already cracked kind of thing then just do hyphen hyphen show and just pass the hash file then it is going to show you the uh, hash it's uh, the a hash the value it, it cracked so it's very simple so that's how you basically do it so there were uh, in the past we covered tools like f crack zip and kind of stuff but zone makes it tight uh, john makes it very easy like just to zip to zone or rat to zone there are so many stuff like that so let's rotate rat to john maybe yeah you have a rat to john uh you have like seven z let's try that yeah, even even though if you're uh, pass, uh, even though if you're uh, archiving format is 7z, which is like most commonly used for like uh, like somewhere. So even this works. Like you have so many options. Like if you kind if you find a file which is kind of password protected, then just convert it to the format into a hash format, and then just do it. So now one more thing you may uh, find useful is. Uh, so you may find lot of IDRSA files actually. So where this uh, idrsa files like uh, which is nothing but a kind of private key you can call so if you can crack that key so it is nothing uh, nothing but like you can just log in with that thing so uh, it's like public key or private key or it depends on the scenario which you are in but sometimes even though you pass that a uh, key through your ssh and uh, even though it, it will ask you for the password in those cases you can use ssh to john so this is a one more utility so just get the hash and try to crack it so if you are able to that's a cool thing and one more thing uh, recently while well, i was solving a challenge in a ctf so i found a, a office file a word file which is password protected so i used office to uh, 
office to zon and uh, this is the file for example it has a lot of passwords so you know this is an excel file so just i converted that and i just got the hash and i was able to crack it with the help of john so once you convert it to a john format then you don't need to provide format hyphen hyphen format option because it auto detects okay and it auto works on that so that's a cool thing so this is like a hash generator that i did cool and let's go to to john uh, we can simply search like one more thing for example if you don't know what office to john is just search for that so you'll find a lot of stuff here just click on that so there is always going to be some kind of uh, a github page linked to that so you can see what it actually does here so you can see there are so many two john files okay two john tools you can call or whatever it is works for you so uh, what it does and all you can read the comments and it works fine so most of the time guys like if you are in a ctf kind of environment this john to john works absolutely fine okay so this star to john format uh binaries which are available on your machine they work absolutely fine and uh, so if like if you are in a ctf and if, if it has some kind of a file which is password protected then it is meant to be cracked most of the time or sometimes it may be a pass uh it may be some kind of a rabbit hole so keep that in mind so that is it guys for this video so like this is all so keep exploring you'll find uh, you can even have this pdf to john you have like uh like this what do you call some uh password manager based uh, to john as well so sometimes you may find a kdbx file okay uh which is like a password protected like it's a password manager kind of thing so kdbx to john and you can convert that to a hash and you can crack it and sometimes if it's a weak password then you can always get in so that's the wonderful stuff so and also that's the subject to part with the hashes so that's it guys for this video uh, if you really find this video helpful make sure to like it and do share it with your friends who are really interested in this sort of stuff and i'm making i'm going to make a video on linux 30 days linux challenge that i uh, installed on my bare ma uh, bare machine and i'll try to share some of my experiences uh, like why you should why you should be using linux and some challenges that i faced so if you want to see more of the content make sure to subscribe to my channel so uh, that's it for this video this is satvik signing off take care bye